In this problem, a gas inside a piston cylinder assembly is being heated by a candle. We also see an electrical resistance heater turned on for 20 seconds. And as a result, the piston moves up and the gas volume increases from 1 meter cube to 2 meter cube. <coughs> we are asked to find the external work transfer with uh, the, the system being the gas inside the trapped gas. So this is my system and we are supposed to find the external work transfer. Obviously, we see heat transfer happening here and the electrical resistance, even though you can be tempted to say, oh, it's heating the gas, so this must be heat transfer. But notice, if you look at the boundary, it's electricity that's crossing the boundary. So therefore, it must be work transfer. So we can detect there is the electrical work transfer at the boundary. And of course, as the gas expands, there is a boundary work transfer. So we recognize to find the boundary work transfer, you got to know how the pressure inside changes. So we start the problem by figuring out how the pressure inside changes. So for that, we draw the free body diagram of the piston. We recognize that the mass is going to produce a force of so many kilonewton downwards on the piston. The piston is assumed weightless. The gas inside, which is unknown, is going to create a force of Pi times A. And there is no other forces on the piston. So therefore, the pressure inside, oh, of course, sorry, there is pressure outside, which is atmospheric pressure. We'll assume it to be 100 kPa. That should be given in this problem. So therefore, a, a, a force balance in the vertical direction uh, will produce PIA is that upward force must be equals mg over 1000 plus P0 times A. Solving this, we get PI to be mg over 1000 A plus P0, which turns out to be mm, 100 kg, 9.81 thousand the area is 0 0.5 plus 100 which is equal to about 102 kPa so notice even though we are heating the gas the pressure inside cannot change because the free body diagram demands that the downward force which never changes must be equal to upward force the piston is barely moving at constant velocity at the most it is not accelerating so therefore upward force and downward force must be equal on the piston. So once you understand that, we recognize that the pressure inside never changes. It is always 102 kPa. So therefore, the boundary work is the easiest to find. Well, not necessarily easiest, but now that we know pressure equals constant, boundary work is integral PdV, which an easier way to find is to draw the PV diagram and see how pressure changes. We know the volume goes from 1 to 2 meter cube and the pressure never changed so suppose initial pressure is 102 kPa the final pressure is 102 kPa right so therefore this area under the PV diagram is simply 102 times 2 minus 1 which is 102 that's kilonewton per meter square times meter cube will tell you this must be kilonewton times meter which is 102 kilojoules so therefore we just figured out what is the total uh, boundary work transfer boundary work transfer is 102 kilojoules and it is positive why because the system is doing work notice the work the gas is lifting the weight the gas is lifting the atmosphere so the work is coming out of the system therefore the boundary work is positive what about the electrical work? The electrical work, on the other hand, is going into the system. So electrical work is the rate of electrical work, work times time, which is negative 1 kilowatt times 20 seconds, which is 20, negative 20 kilojoules. In other words, the electrical work is, is pumping energy into the system, 
and within the 20 second of time, 20 kilojoules has crossed the boundary going into the system. If you recall, the wind hip convention work in, if you recall, work in negative, hit in positive, right? Wind hip. So the electrical work is going in, that's why it is negative. So therefore, the net external, uh, the total external work transfer, W external, in this case, is the electrical uh, boundary and electrical work transfer, which is 102 minus 20, which is 82 kilojoule. So that's our net work transfer, the answer for this problem. In other, word, in other words, in 20 seconds, the piston rises to double the volume and and the energy that is transferred through work outside is 82 kilojoules. So the system does 82 kilojoules of net work. Obviously, uh, the energy must have entered the system somehow. Uh, we can see that there's heating going on. As we learn the energy equation, we, we can have a perfect balance. We can show exactly how much heat will be entering the system, etc. as we learn uh, the energy balance equation. So in this problem, to summarize, to find the external work, we got to remember that the external work is made up of uh, the following component, boundary, electrical, shaft, and flow work. We'll, we'll learn about that later on. But in this particular problem, we only have boundary work and electrical work. And we also took care of the sign convention work going in is negative and work coming out is positive. In this case, the boundary work was positive because it was coming out and the electrical work is negative because electricity was going into the system.